going on everybody dog man dan here we are in evolve stage two and i want to talk to you about the next patch that just came out uh patch 2.12 if you will uh this is going to be an interesting patch very interesting uh, i've got the patch notes here in game for part of it they didn't put all the patch notes in here so uh we'll go over what's here and the rest will actually be over on the, the nog community forums just so you can see all the stat breakdowns of the changes to the monsters and to the uh, hunters and all those different adjustments that they made as well. But uh, we're going to look right here at the patch notes. And the big thing is going to be the introduction of the gold keys. And I'm going to go over that right here with you guys in just a moment. So players can now purchase gold keys through Steam to unlock uh, alongside with silver keys that you gain in-game. So gold keys are your cash shop items or your cash shop, if you will, where silver keys are your in-game earnings, okay? Uh, each item will have silver keys and gold key prices. Okay, no difference there. Still totally free to play. Players will unlock the Rolling Behemoth badge at the first gold key purchase, just as FYI. Uh, and like I said, we'll go over that in a moment. Uh, this badge will also be available... Uh, to unlock for silver keys at a later update. And if I remember correctly, they were talking, what, that was like 100,000 silver keys or something like that. I don't remember in the last update they talked about it. Um, okay, so there's a bunch of stuff that's missing from here. Now, in terms of this gold keys through Steam, this is only for United States Steam players at this time. Uh, anyone outside of the U.S. is not able to purchase gold keys. Okay, this is limited right now to inside the U.S. As well, gold keys will only unlock weapon skins, characters, and hunter skins, and monster skins. They will not unlock or allow you to increase perks through the gold keys so there is no way to do that you have to play the game use silver keys to unlock your perks and uh, increase your perks okay that's key here the game is still very much free to play you have to grind for your keys which is no different than any other game and in grinding for your keys your silver keys you're able to unlock items otherwise you could fast pass that and use cash if you'd like which is the gold keys. So, the important parts, the perks, are not able to be used or purchased through the cash system. So, it keeps it as a free-to-play game. Now, we understand. Now, I see why they made the change in the economy system because they are bringing in this. So, let's take a look at the store. If you will, the currency here you have a range from $4.99 to $99.99 in your bundle. So, Itty Bitty gives you 500 gold keys. The small gives you 1,100 gold keys. That's 1,000 plus a free bonus of 100. The medium is giving you 2,250. The large is giving you 6,000. And the Goliath size is giving you 12,500 keys. Okay? Those are just the prices that are set. That's what's in here. Uh, is it is, is the value worth it? Let's go ahead and take a quick look at what's going on in the store. Because this is going to be the most important part. So, sale-wise, you can see, uh, like Blitz Markov, 363 gold keys, 13,000 silver keys. I already own these three, so I don't have to worry about those. Torvald, 363, 1350. See how that is, okay? Not too bad in terms of, I, I see how that that rolls out okay and and that really allows you to buy one for five dollars if you wanted to okay you can also unlock them in game your daily logins which we'll talk about uh, as well here shortly um, I've got the full list of the daily logins if you will for October that'll be released in October so you can see what's coming up with that I will have that in here as well uh, regular characters as you can see I already own a few but the price is basically double here in terms of keys so 725 for crow um, and 14,500 for uh, silver keys which okay so 725 means you're gonna have to come into the ten dollar group basically if you want to get to the lowest end of that but 
again, it all depends upon what you're looking to do. Behemoth, Cabot, okay, so they're all in here. You can see the prices uh, based off of, you know, whatever you plan on purchasing. And I, I mean, I see how they have it. So really, if you look at it in the basic sense, the sales group is the $4.99 group. Then you start the next level is the $10 group. The next level is a $20 group. Uh, so forth and so on, if you will. Okay. So there's that. Monster skins. Not horrible at all. You can easily buy. You've got a group of them here that you can pick up um, for ch pretty cheap. And then you've got the more insane ones. Oh, man. That's crazy. But I can unlock that with 50,000 silver keys. And I'm already at 30,000 if I want it to. See? So... It's not horrible, but there are ways to get the skins. And it's fashion. Fashion is fashion. It doesn't hurt the game. It doesn't, you know. And we all know that you can't keep a free-to-play game without a uh, monetization type of system in here at some point. So, uh, overall, maybe some price adjustments over time. We'll see. I don't think that they're actually that horrible. Looking at what they are, I think that the, the pricing is pretty decent for what you're getting. And... If they offer decent sales on stuff, I mean, you're not looking at anything too crazy here in terms of stuff. I want a couple of these. Just a couple. I don't own a lot yet because I've been trying to concentrate on other things here. Okay. Anyway, so that takes care of that part, so that gets it out of the way. Listen, you know, it was coming. I don't see an issue with it. Uh, like I said, they kept the perks out of the system. And that's the more important part. As long as the perks are out of the system and can only be done with in-game time, I think that's that makes keeps it on an even ground. There is a new Monster Advanced tutorial. I will run that. I'll record it and I'll put it out there for everybody. And apparently they give you a silver key bonus as well at the end. Uh, Kara is the one that's going to walk us through that. So like I said, I'll get that out there. I have a couple other ones I want to get out there. Uh, some Razor Chrome integration, Chroma integration that's going on now. Ability keys are highlighted and tied to cooldowns. Movement keys are highlighted, so forth and so on. Uh, update to the Hunter AI. Legacy Hunters have been updated with new AI uh, blueprints. So you can be sure to check out Val, Griffin, Hank, Markov. I'll play a couple of those. We'll see what the new AI looks like. The punch card for October. Okay. I am going to throw that up on the screen here. So the punch card, 31 days. These are these are your login rewards, if you will. This is what we're looking at. You have a couple characters that you can get during the month, as well as a lot of silver keys and other things that are going on, some cool skins, behemoth adaption, adaptation. Uh, so we got a lot of things in there. Um, it's uh, The daily login has been very, very good, the way they have that set up. Uh, in terms of that. So we got some new store content. New perks in there. Balances. Like I said I've got them listed over on the Nog community forums. So you guys can just run over there. And see it under the Evolve Stage 2 section if you want. Uh, and then some several bug fixes that came up as well. Um, so there is that. But the, the key thing here was to kind of go over this gold key changes. I don't see a problem with the gold keys. Uh, I welcome it. Do I have any plans of purchasing anything at the moment? No, I don't. Uh, but I think it's a good addition the way they set that up. Uh, I also think that the overall silver key changes now that I see why they made the changes to it is actually not horrible. Um, I would like to see more silver keys drop in uh, missions at the end. But nonetheless, uh, it's there. It is a free to play. And, uh, you know there is what what there is all right stay tuned i will have some more coverage like i said i'll go through the new monster Adva advanced tutorial we'll get that up we'll get some of the other uh, tutorials up here uh, that i haven't posted yet and so forth and so on if you have any other comments or questions please do feel free to leave them below otherwise i will catch you guys in future episodes thanks for tuning in we'll see you soon